I'm Tracy Underwood and I've spent about 15 years working at the interface between academia and radiotherapy clinics and recently I joined the amazing team at Leo Cancer Care. UKRI, they're the primary government body in the UK that distributes research funding and one of their big goals is to develop a kind of flexible, agile and connected research ecosystem in the UK, which hopefully boosts the economy. And an important element of this is the UKRI Future Leaders Fellowship Scheme. It's a really competitive scheme. It's designed to select researchers with a proven track record and give them the long-term support to execute their ideal research vision. It's been running for about four years now and has funded around 500 fellows. Their research really spans all the genres from music to history of art to engineering to pure mathematics. And it's brilliant that we're kind of given the opportunity to meet up quite regularly as fellows, train together and learn from one another, which really helps to develop these connections in the UK research landscape. It's also a fantastically flexible scheme. In my case, as I have young kids, I'm able to hold my fellowship part-time over five years. And the 1.3 million that we'll receive from UKRI, it will fund not only research and development within LEO, but also collaborations with two NHS trusts and three British universities. The overarching goal is to optimise the way LEO Cancer Care's technology is used in the radiotherapy clinics both in terms of the patient experience and the clinical outcome and who, which subsets of patients should be treated upright. To do this, I've pulled together an absolute dream team of external collaborators from around the UK and around the world. And of course, this comes on top of the amazing efforts from the team within LEO, who really go above and beyond every day. And I hope that the fellowship will enable us to preempt some of the workflow issues that radiotherapy clinics are likely to face as they start to treat patients upright for the first time, saving them some time and resources. And this should make Leo Cancer Care's technology more accessible and help us to bring benefits to more patients more quickly. Definitely a mobilisation. How do we keep upright patients comfortable and still? And I'm super excited here to start a new collaboration with Professor Sue Hignett and Dr. Michael Frey at Loughborough University. They're both experts in human factors and they're going to help us take a systematic approach as we look to develop new armrests and body supports for upright patients. And in parallel to this, we're building upon a fantastic collaboration with Professor Heidi Prost and her team at Sheffield Hallam University. They have really pioneered ways to make the radiotherapy experience more dignified for patients, for example, in developing a specialised bra for radiotherapy. And Heidi's team are going to help us to engage former patients and clinical staff in this research in a kind of co-design process. Because as we think about a mobilization for upright patients, we really want to keep the patient experience at the heart of everything that we do. We've got quite a few big challenges ahead, but one of them will be on image registration. And there I'm so happy to be working with my collaborator, Dr. Jamie McClelland at University College London. I've known Jamie for a really long time and he's an expert in medical image computing. And together we're going to consider how we can use image registration to transfer information from supine PET and MR scans to our upright CTs so that that information can be used in upright radiotherapy treatment planning.
Yeah, we've got a couple of fantastic NHS collaborations. There's the clinical physics team at UCLH who are going to help us look into how anatomy and dosimetry changes between supine and upright body positions. And as part of that project, we'll also bring in expertise from Dr. David Cobbin, who's a consultant oncologist at Clatterbridge Cancer Centre. It's a really bold plan, but it's looking at how we design an upright patient positioner that would be compatible with an upright MRI scanner. And we're really fortunate at LEO that we already have some amazing academic, clinical and industrial collaborators in this area, such as Paul Keel, Aswin Hoffman and ASG. And together we really have MRI guided proton therapy as a goal. Absolutely, we really hope that we'll be recruiting a new radiotherapy research physicist soon alongside another PhD student. And I'm so grateful for the support that I've received, not only on this fellowship, but throughout my career. I really hope that I can pay some of that support forward as I mentor others. So please do reach out to me if you're interested in a career in the radiotherapy industry or if you're looking to apply for a fellowship.